Hi there folks. So in today's video we're going to look at algebraic long division. Now I know a lot of you hate this but that's because you have largely forgotten your long division from primary school. It's actually not that difficult. In fact it's a really nice question to get on your tests because it's quite simple and formulaic. So you're guaranteed you'll get good marks in this provided you do the correct steps. So let's look at an example. x cubed plus 3x squared minus 10x minus 24 divided by x minus 3. So first things first, we rewrite our sum in standard long division format. Okay, so now how we do these is very simple. We take the term at the start of our divisor and we divide it into each of the individual bits to see what we'd get. You'll see what I mean by that, okay? So x cubed divided by x is x squared. All right, now what we do is we multiply the whole divisor by x squared. So x by x squared is x cubed, x by minus three minus three x squared. Step three is change the signs, okay? And then add them. So x cubed minus x cubed is zero, three x squared plus three x squared is six x squared. And then step four, bring down the next term if there is one, okay? And that's it. So now back to the top, step one, we divide by this term at the start of the divisor. So 6x squared divided by x is going to be plus 6. Plus, don't forget your sign, this is a plus here, so that's going to be a plus up there. Next, step 2, we multiply. So x by x, 6x x is 6x squared. Minus 3 by 6 is minus 18x. Okay. And then we do our next step, we change our signs. So that becomes a minus and that becomes a plus. This minus this is gone. 18 minus 10 is 8x. And then we bring down our term. Okay? Back to step one. 8x divided by a x is 8. Step two, multiply. 8 times x is 8x. 8, 8 by minus 3 is minus 24. Step three, change your signs. And they are gone. And we have it done. Now, incidentally, if I was asked to fully factorize this cubic, then what I would do now is I would take my quadratic that I've gotten as my answer, and I would factorize this. So factors today, 1 and 8, 2 and 4. What two numbers multiply to give me 8, but add to give me 6? Clearly it's 2 and 4, so it'd be plus 2, plus 4. So the factors of this quad or this cubic equation would be x minus 3, x plus 2, and x plus 4. So I'd like to do one more example, and this is an example of a question where you're missing a term. Okay, so the question is, 4x cubed minus 11x plus 3 divided by 2x minus 3. So if we look at this question, hopefully you'll spot how it's different to the previous one. This question is missing an x squared, and this is important, because whenever you're doing these questions, you always must have every term or power from the highest to the lowest. So if the highest power in this question is an x cubed, then I need to have an x squared and x and my number. Otherwise, my columns don't line up. If the highest power was an x squared, I'd still need to have the x, okay? So there's no x squared here, so what do we do? Well, we write our sum as normal. But what we're going to do now is we're going to include a x squared in the form of 0x squared. Minus 11x plus 3. So we've added 0 to the equation, which means we actually technically haven't changed the sum in any way. Because if you add 0 to something... It, you're adding nothing, so nothing happens. But what we have done is we've wrote it in such a way that our columns are now going to line up. So now, doing this same as the last one in our four basic steps. Step one, divide this term into this. So 2 into 4 goes twice. x into x cubed is x squared. Step two, multiply the divisor by this term here. 2 by 2 is 4. x squared by x is x cubed. 2 by minus 3 is minus 6. x squared. Step three, we change our signs. So this plus becomes a minus, they cancel, this minus becomes a plus. So now, zero plus six is six x squared. Step three, we've done step four, we bring down the next term. And we're back to the top, dividing. Two into six is three times, x and the x squared is x. Next we multiply. Two by three is six, x by x is x squared. Three by minus three is minus nine x. Okay, next we change our signs. 6x squared minus 6x squared cancels. 
and we have now 11. So we have minus 11 plus 3, 9 equals minus 2. And plus 3. So how many times does 2x go into minus 2x? It goes in minus 1 times. Multiplying 2, minus 2x two squared plus 3. Step 3, change your signs, and it cancels out, and there you go. So that is how you do algebraic long division. My first example is a simple example, and this one here, it's still easy, just this extra step. So I hope these make sense. I hope they're helping you all, and keep up the good work.